This video provides an overview of the University of Manchester MEng project, Autonomous Minesweeper Humanitarian Landmine Detection. The project is sponsored by the Sir Bobby Charlton Foundation and aided by the university's SEMIS research team. Landmines continue to pose a threat to communities years after conflicts have been resolved, and the manual demining process is time and resource consuming for humanitarian organizations. Automation has been shown to bring widespread benefits such as reduced risk to life and significantly improved efficiency. This project aims to create a robust mobile robot prototype to be used for mine detection in realistic conditions weighing less than 15 kilograms for under 1500 pounds and to evaluate the prototype's performance to design an extended version for future development. The majority of existing commercial market machines are intended for manual detonation of mines, which are very large and can cost up to £500,000. Smaller machines at lower prices must compete on speed with human operators to ensure economic viability. The prototype mobile platform was built and tested in the first three months of the project capable of manually traversing a minefield while carrying the load of demining tools. The extended design improves upon the prototype, including implementing subsystems to aid the demining process. The work completed for both the prototype and the extended design can be broken down into the following parts. A bespoke chassis has been designed out of acetal, with structural reinforcement ribs and built-in suspension to ensure robust operation on off-road terrain. To limit unnecessary chassis surface area, each component's dimensions were recorded and a 1-1 scale footprint was prepared out of paper. A stress analysis was performed to ensure the design is adequately sturdy. A 1 degree of freedom robotic arm was designed to suspend the SEMIS research team's metal detector system away from the main body, limiting the effects of electromagnetic interference. To maintain an ideal distance of 2 to 3 centimeters above the ground, a lead screw elevating system coupled with proximity sensors was used. All four motors have inbuilt hall effect encoders. These encoders are used for speed sensing, providing feedback for closed loop proportional integral control, which is used to drive the robot. PI control calculates the error between the robot's current speed and its set point speed. This error is converted into a correction, which is applied to bring the motors as close to the set point as possible. Simulations were used to find the best method of scanning a predetermined area and to test the drive system, obstacle detection, localization, mapping, and autonomous and manual control. A pair of ultrasonic sensors are used for basic obstacle detection when driving. This system is intended to be used in combination with image-based localization software, WICON, to automatically navigate through the minefield, achieving near millimeter accuracy. This method is easy to set up on site using A4 printed markers. An occupancy grid type map is formed from the localization and metal detection data to be shown in the web app, presenting exact robot and mine locations. A user-friendly web application control panel has been created, offering two modes of operation, intuitive for both technical and non-technical users. Along with the localization and mapping, the web app runs on the Raspberry Pi and is easily accessible by connecting to the Pi's hotspot and navigating to http slash typhon. It allows live data analysis and manual control during operation, with a handy return to home button in case of low battery power. At the end of the project, possibilities for future work were considered. Obstacle detection is currently achieved with the ultrasonic sensors. This can be improved by implementing LiDAR sensors to enable higher quality obstacle mapping. The slowest and most dangerous part of demining operations is manual excavation. A robotic rapid excavation tool would improve safety and reduce time required, making a more competitive product. A ground penetrating radar could be implemented, complementing the metal detector and improving mine detection performance. A physical marking system using a standard paint spray mechanism could be implemented to visibly mark detected mine locations on the ground. Rotating or multiple cameras would cover potential blind spots, acting as a failsafe against localization loss. This project contributed towards the development of an autonomous system to facilitate humanitarian demining. This project has successfully delivered a working mobile platform prototype with subsystems and detailed designs for a second build that would be capable of robustly and accurately detecting mines once total integration is achieved. And that concludes this video. Find out more about the course at manchester.ac.uk.